everybody, it's Susan, and I am here today with a combination video, uh, basically a mini haul. The winner for my Halloween giveaway, I'll explain why it's so late for those of you who don't already know, and also kind of a channel update. Um, I, first I want to say I hope everyone is having a really fun and enjoyable Halloween. Well, that was a Freudian slip. Holiday season, but every day is Halloween, right? Um, I hope everyone is having a really fun, enjoyable holiday season so far, and hoping that looking toward the new year, everything will get better, because I don't know about you guys, but 2016 has been kicking my ass a little bit, and I know it's been doing it to pretty much everyone. So here we go. First of all, the reason that the Halloween giveaway is so late is because I have had massive iPhone and computer problems. Apple has agreed to replace my iPhone free of charge for me due to all of the horrendous problems and literal suffering that I've uh, endured. Hoping sometime this week, next week to be able to do that. And then it will open up a literal whole new world insert Disney tune right here, um, of videos for you guys. My pretty much hashtag deceased laptop has now been replaced because I did receive a new laptop for the holiday season. So hopefully with the replacement of the iPhone and the new PC, we will have everything good to go. The footage of the Halloween giveaway was actually eaten, lost. I've had so many problems. Everything that went into iCloud will not come back. Um, it, it, it's just too much to, to explain. So to anyone that my lost and eaten videos has affected, and I know there are some of you, I am so, so sorry. And hopefully going forward, I can make it up to you. In, because it is the holiday season, a little gift box and there are tons and tons of names in there. So I will be shaking this up and drawing it because I did not feel that it would be fair to just say, oh, by the way, you guys, the video was eaten, but the winner is, because it just doesn't look right. We'll be drawing live uh, right now. And first I will do the mini haul. The first thing that I am very, very excited about, most people who know my channel are probably familiar with Johnny Taz. Um, please go and check out his channel. I will link it in the description box below. His videos are amazing. He has such a great positive energy about him. It is really fun to watch his videos. So he now has his own enamel pin and he is a fan of the Ninja Turtles. Donatello specifically, shout out to Donatello. Uh, so I love that this is a, a mashup, which is his logo if you're already familiar with his channel. This is not news to you. Enamel pin is fantastic. It looks amazing. I'm so excited for him. Please go and get one. I will link that in the description box below as well. And keeping with the pins, the second is an amazing pin. Um, I'm a huge Vincent Price fan. Huge. Love him. And this is a Vincent Price collectible enamel pin. And it is absolutely incredible and this is from creepy company so if you are or are not familiar with them I will be linking them in the description box below their Instagram is basically the best way to keep up with what is coming out and when it is they have a lot of limited edition um, items they did a, uh, a licensed Halloween pin set that I put on Instagram I'm not sure did I show you guys here I think I hope and this is also licensed as well. And I will get a close up because it is in plastic right now. This pin is incredible. And as far as Funko Pops, I have sworn them off. I said I wasn't going to buy any more Funko Pops. And these two, I just could not resist, you guys. This is Negan. And he is amazing and he has Lucille right there and I just I don't know I had to have him I know he's completely evil but I'm strangely drawn to him as well so what can I say and 
and I actually, this necklace that was gifted to me is a little Lucille bat, a little Negan bat. So for Walking Dead fans out there, you get it, right? Okay. And the next pop that I got is Slash from Guns N' Roses because he is an amazing guitarist and I'm very partial to guitar. So I had to have this one. no idea where I'm gonna put them you guys I don't have room for a bunch of pops but I don't know I'm sorry I have so much lotion on my hands now the next item is pretty big again for Walking Dead fans you're gonna dig this um, I was given a Lucille replica bat and I will try to include close-ups of this it looks very real. It's a great prop. It's a great prop replica, I should say. It's the exact size and specs of his, so, you know, it's the holiday season, but when you still have to bash in some skulls, there you go. It's a great prop replica. Again, no idea what's gonna happen. Should it go up on the wall, you guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. What am I gonna do with Lucille? Walk around with her on my shoulder? I mean, I do have a black leather jacket and a red scarf, so hey, go around and scare innocent strangers or something. I don't know, I'm just kidding, you guys. This is a major item for me. Major item. For those of you who are familiar with the company Lux DeVille, they make incredible, amazing, amazing handbags. They do everything very retro. Their stuff is absolutely incredible. And when they released that they were partnering with Elvira to do licensed Elvira handbags, of course I was in on that immediately. And this is the makeup slash train case. And I'm going to put close-ups in here because this thing is big and amazing. And there is a spider web on top. This also has complete leopard interior. So, I'm, I'm in love with it. It also has the Elvira Mistress of the Dark plate on the side of it. Again, I do have the plastic on that. But I was completely over the moon about that, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Happy Everything to me because I'm in love with it. It's perfection. Couldn't ask for anything better. So I will be putting my a Lunatic Cosmetics Lab Elvira palette among tons of other makeup in this and I absolutely love it. I also forgot to include a few things. I got this great Carrie shirt. This is from joelrobinsonart.com. I will link it below. That is his artwork. And I also picked up Scream Queen Season 1 on DVD. It is not available on Blu-ray, unfortunately, but I did grab the DVD while it was on sale for half price. And this most excellent Christmas Vacation steelbook. Of course, I absolutely had to have that. It was perfect for this holiday season. And it does have some cool special features. And then I was very excited that official Stranger Things merchandise has hit Hot Topic, and of course had to pick up the iconic logo pin. I really kind of already did the updates because I explained to you that things are gonna be getting better. I'm very excited about that. But hopefully everything is going to be a lot better going forward. I am very hopeful and I just again I know I've said it a lot but I really do mean it. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there and sticking with me. I know my channel has kind of gone like hmm, <laughs> due to all of these problems but as they get fixed and repaired I am hoping that things will escalate to a better more fun and exciting level for you guys because that's why I do it and to be honest with all of those problems it was kind of depressing and I almost thought about stopping my channel for a little while 
Um, but now I, I am hopeful that things will be better. Okay, so on to drawing the Halloween giveaway winner. Yes, Halloween, I didn't say this incorrectly, not holiday, Halloween. Never got around to a holiday giveaway because of all these problems. So these are everyone that, oops, great. Everyone that commented, left a comment, and or videos, you got more entries. This is going to include the Elvira Funko Pop, which the first delay for that giveaway was the fact that I pre-ordered from GameStop and then they never came in. So I had to go hunt them down at Hot Topic. And then of course, my computer was completely screwed. So, and my phone, um, even more so. Like the phone, don't get me started. Um, with iCloud, everything. So I know, shut up, Susan. We already know, you've said it, and yeah. So here we go, drawing the winner for the Halloween giveaway. And okay, you guys, so first I just wanna say a big, huge thank you to everyone that entered the giveaway. Uh, again, giveaways going forward should be much more expedited and there shouldn't be any issues. I won't ever do a giveaway with a pre-order item in it again either, just to prevent things like this from happening. And hopefully again, no phone or computer problems for the next one. So everything will go pretty quickly. Uh, so thank you so much to everyone who did enter. And I'm sorry for anyone who thought that it just vanished into cyberspace. That is not the case. Uh, for everyone, if you really want to know like what's going on, be sure to go into the description box below. I link everything. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two that I post most frequently on and draw the winner. And the winner is Mr. Tony of the Dead. Mr. Tony of the Dead is actually somebody I know. That's so awesome. I mean, not that it wouldn't be awesome if I didn't know you. Okay. Very cool, Mr. Tony of the Dead. He has an amazing channel. Please go check it out. I will link it in the description box below. So just private message me with the shipping address you want me to send it to and any i know you personally have like tons of stuff so if there are any specific items that you're looking for or a few of your favorite um, specific fandoms i will add that and then of course there will also be the elvira funko pop and some other stuff that i had already prepared mr tony of the dead congratulations and again just private message me um, on Instagram or YouTube and I will get everything out to you and again thank you so much to everyone for entering I really do appreciate it I feel very very bad that that whole giveaway this whole giveaway uh, just dragged out took forever the situation with the pop then the situation with my phone and my computer so again Please, I, I don't want people to hesitate entering my future giveaways because none of them are going to be a train wreck like this. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. That is about it for today. Have a fabulous, fabulous holiday season. Oh, and by the way, if you guys could please uh, subscribe if you want. People are telling me to let my subscribers know to click a bell. Apparently that's the only way people's videos get put in your feed now. So I'm trying to figure that out for myself and everyone that I subscribe to as well. And then um, if you do enjoy the videos, please click like. Apparently YouTube has changed things. Uh, if you guys know any of this information more in depth and detail, please comment down below and let me know because I'm kind of unaware, but apparently YouTube has changed the way they do things. So. Anyway, like, subscribe, spread the happiness, and stay spooktacular.